Alisema asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Tunaingia kwa neno. Tunaingia. Naomba unisaidie kuelewa. Naomba unisaidie kujua. Fungua mawazo yangu kushika neno lako katika jina la Yesu. Amen. As a keti can have a seat and I believe that God will continue to help us. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. We are being in this place for months now talking about preparation of going out to preach the gospel and we have been tackling the topic of death, burial, resurrection, accession and sitting together with him. Alright now, tuko katika mahali tunajifundisha kuhusu kufufuka kwa Yesu. Na Jumapili iliyopita tuliangazia kuhusu ufufuo wa Yesu Kristo kwa njia ya mitume vile walivyotoka na kuelezea habari hii ya ufufuo wa Yesu Kristo kwa wengine kutoka kwa agano la kale wakiingia agano jipya na nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu kulingana na, na, na mtumishi wa Mungu mtume Paulo alipoingia katika ule mji alimhubiri Kristo mpaka tukaona alipohubiri Yesu alihubiri kutoka agano la kale akikuja katika agano jipya na wazee waliokuwa wa dini ndio walipompa ruhusa akawaambia utuelezee mambo machache ulio na ufahamu kuhusu aya hii na mahali tulikofika katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume 17 mstari wake ni wa 30 matendo ya misu, matendo ya mitume 17 mstari wake ni wa wa 30 Wacha tusome kuanzia 26. Haleluya.
ili kuwaleta nje penye ule umati wa watu lakini alipowakosa wakamvuruta yasoni na dugu wengine mbele ya maafisa wa, wa mji wakipiga kelele watu hawa ni wale waliopindua ulimwengu wamekuja huku na yasoni amewakaribisha nyumbani mwake hao wote wanaamsi wanaasi amri za Kaisari wakisema yuko mfalme mwingine aitwaye Yesu walipo sikia huyo haya ule umati wa watu na maafisa wa mji wakaongeza ghasia nao baada ya kuchukua dhamana kwa ajili ya Yasoni na mwenzake wakawacha waeneza mitume paulo tunaona katika kitabu hiki cha matendo ya mitume kuanzia 13 ukikuja hivi yote utaona safari ya mitume utaona mitume walipokuwa wanaingia mahali popote kazi yao ilikuwa ni kuhubiri kufa kuzikwa na kufufuka kwa Yesu so ilikuwa injili yao haikuwa kuhusu vitu haikuwa kuhusu mali bali ilikuwa ni kuhusu kufa kuteswa kwa Yesu Kristo lakini pia walihubiri kuhusu Kristo Yesu ndiye Kristo walihubiri kuwa Yesu ndiye Kristo kwa sababu kumbuka katika kitabu cha ya Mathayo 16 maandiko inasema katika mwamba huu nitalijenga kanisa langu na mwamba huo ni mwamba wa ufunuo kwamba Yesu ndiye Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haleluya Nataka jioni na asubuhi ya leo ni kuachilie ukahubiri injili katika door to door lakini ni lazima uelewe ya kwamba Yesu hafanyiki tu wa miujiza bali Yesu anafanyika kama mlango wa kufanyika wana wa Mungu hafanyi tu miujiza bali pia ni njia ya kuwaleta watu katika uzima wa milele miujiza ni mizuri kwa sababu Yesu alifanya miujiza lakini usikose kuelewa haswa kanuni ya uwiu ya uungu kuna kuna kitu kinachoitwa furaha mbinguni kuna furaha mbinguni wakati mtu mmoja amemwamini Yesu Kristo hakuna furaha mbinguni wakati mtu mmoja kiwete ametembea Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haleluya Haleluya Hakuna furaha mbinguni wakati kiwete ametembea kwa sababu kiwete anaweza kuka kupona kiwete na baada ya wiki moja akanguka na gari akarudi katika uwete. Haleluya. Mtu anaweza kufunguka macho lakini baada ya siku tatu akafanyika kitu macho ikarudi kwa kipofu. Kwa sababu it's not permanent. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini kuna nguvu katika kumfufua mtu kupitia kwa injili kutoka ka, kutoka katika ufahamu wa kufufuka kwa Yesu Kristo. So anapokubali Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yake, bingu inashangilia. Haleluya. Bingu inafanyaje? Inashangilia ya kwamba kuna mtu mmoja ambaye ameweza kuokoka. Na nikaweza kupatiana mambo matatu nitaenda kuharaka kwa sababu ya muda ambayo ilionyesha umuhimu wa kufufuka kwa Yesu. Jambo la kwanza tukasema the resurrection of Christ is the cause of the prophetic scriptures. Kusema ya kwamba kufufuka kwa Yesu kunaonyesha na kudhihirishwa katika manabii kile walichepo walisema katika agano la kale. Ufufuo wa Yesu unatiwa nguvu kutoka kwa manabii, kutoka kwa Tora, kwa Torati, pia katika uh, 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 vitabu vya Sulaimani na pia vitabu vya vya, vya, vya Psalms ambaye ni uh, uh, ni Daudi. So ukifika katika vitabu hivi vyote vinazungumzia kuhusu the resurrection of Christ Jesus. So we can see the foundation of the resurrected Christ from the Old Testament to the new testament number two, we encountered that the resurrection of christ is the compression of his redemptive work ya kwamba kufufuka kwa yesu diko kunaonyesha jinsi ya ukombozi haleluya so ukombozi hauingii kwa mwanadamu pasipo kufufuka kwa yesu ndio maana ke when we preach the gospel we declare life to men through the redemption of Jesus Christ and not Christ Jesus Jesus Christ because Jesus 
is the human body that ilibeba dhambi ya ulimwengu bwana yesu asifiwe number three, tukasema ya kwamba the resurrection of christ is the confirmation of who christ is the resurrection of christ is the confirmation of who christ is and tukasema ya kwamba christ carries the eternal life in him ndani ya yesu kristo kuna beba uzima wa milele ndani ya, 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 ya kristo yesu kuna beba power sema power sema power bwana yesu asifiwe ninaona mtu hapa asubuhi ya leo akienda nyumbani kesho ndio ndio akiwa na power bwana yesu asifiwe unapoingia katika manyumba power iko juu ya maisha yako kwa sababu wewe ndio power ya mungu bwana yesu asifiwe so when you preach the gospel of resurrected christ you are demonstrating power because the gospel is the power of god hallelujah the gospel is the power of god number four now where we are now we are now understanding the resurrection of christ as a central theme of christianity bila ufufuo wa yesu kristo hatuna ukristo kile kinafanya tuitwe wa kristo ni kwa sababu ya ufufuo wa yesu kristo hallelujah so the resurrection, of, the resurrection of Christ is the central theme it is the backbone it is the pillar of our, of our faith in another word if Jesus didn't rise from the dead this means we don't have hope outside the resurrection hatuna matumaini kama hatuhubiri kuhusu kufufuka kwa Yesu hatuna bana Yesu asifiwe nataka kuwa na tumaini ni lazima uhubiri kufufuka kwa Yesu in that katika hiyo i have two things i prepared for you there that apostles in the old testament they witnessed the resurrection of Jesus kama vile tumesoma hapa katika kitabu cha mitume ah atendo ya mitume ya kwamba waliengia na wakahubiri ufufuo wa Yesu kufa kuziko na kufika kwa Yesu then they revealed that Jesus is the Christ wakafunua ya kwamba Yesu Kristo die, die, Yesu die Kristo haleluya then uh, what followed them was great grace was upon their life so injili ilipohubiriwa juu ya maisha ya juu ya watu kwa ajili ya watu wengine that the great grace was upon them because of the message so ukinapotoka hapa nje ukose message ya kufa kuzikwa na kufika kwa Yesu ina maana unapeana injili ambayo haina uhai the only message that has life is the message of death burial and the resurrection of Christ number 5 or number 6 number 6 sorry number 5 number 5 that is the resurrection of Christ is the core truth of the gospel it is the core truth core truth dio dio nini ya utu wa ndani dio central dio yani dio kila kitu katika mambo ya ukristo why because there are three things that happen when the resurrected Christ is raised from the dead number 1 we have hope tuko na matumaini ya wale watu wamekufa haleluya kama kuna mtu wetu aliyekufa akiwa ndani ya Yesu tuko na tuna matumaini kufufuliwa kwa mwili wake sawa why because the sample of resurrection tunaona Yesu alifufuka mwili wake sawa so inaleta ya kwamba we have hope of the of the body ambao imezikwa kwenye kaburi na hiyo hope inatokana na ufufuo wa Yesu. Number two, Jesus has already completed the wages of sin. Ishalipiwa na tumeingia katika new era ambayo ni ya watakatifu. So the resurrection of Christ marks the beginning of the new creation. The resurrection of Christ marks the new beginning of the new creation. Yaani kufufuka kwa Yesu kunaonyesha ishara ya mwanzo mpya wa viumbe vipya. Viumbe vipya. Haleluya. Viumbe vipya. Ndio maana kinasema kwamba hata imekuwa 
mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo amekuwa kiumbe kipya lazima awe ndani ya Kristo ambaye aliyefufuka sio ndani ya Yesu aliyezikwa bali ndani ya Yesu aliyefufuka jambo hilo lina muhimu kuelewa ya kwamba ni ndani ya Yesu aliyezikwa aliyefufuka sio ndani ya Yesu aliyezikwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe haleluya haleluya kama mtu amelala amsha yeye mwambie wewe usilale Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuko na matumaini ya kiumbe kipya juu ya ufufuo wa Yesu na sio juu ya kuzikwa kwake. Kuzikwa kwa Yesu kulileta kusamehewa na kuondolewa dhambi na ikawekwa katika kaburi la sahau. Lakini katika kufufuka kwa Yesu kunaleta upya wa uzima inasema tembeeni sasa katika upya kitabu cha Warumi sita mstari wake ni wa Warumi sita mstari wake ni wa pili acha nikuonyeshe pale ili uweze kuelewa na semaji hapa kitabu cha Warumi sita mstari wake wa pili inasema lahasha sisi tulioifia dhambi that is the death but that is the disposition of death kuzikwa kwa Yesu sisi tulioifia dhambi because when Jesus died you died wakati Yesu alipokufa ulikufa so tutawezaje tena kuendelea kuishi tena katika dhambi au hamjui ambia jirani yako kujua ambia jirani yako kujua hamjui ya kuwa sisi zote tuliopatizwa katika Kristo sisi zote tuliopatizwa katika Kristo. Swali, ni nani aliyetubatiza katika Kristo? Haleluya. Ni nani aliyetubatiza katika Kristo? Nipatie viti viti vitatu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nipatie viti vitatu. Bwana ama ama ni ama watu wawili wakuje hapa hao ndio watatuonyesha wata ishara mzuri njoo hapa pasta pasta nani kitsaa aiza njoo hapa njoo hapa eh even even this selection katika ufufuo tuna ubatizo unaofanywa hapa i am the preacher here this is the christ and this is Jesus. Okay? Anasema sisi kwani amjui sisi zote tuliobatizwa katika Kristo. Sawa? Ni nani anayetubatiza katika Kristo? Is the message. Haleluya. Now hapo uwe makini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The message of the resurrected Christ about this Jesus died for your sin he was buried because of your sin sawa hapo sasa wakati muhubiri anapohubiri anahubiri habari ya Yesu alipokuja akawa na akazikwa sawa anapohubiri habari za Yesu huyu sasa sio huyu anahubiri habari za nani anahubiri habari za nani za Yesu so huyu muhubiri akihubiri anahubiri habari za Yesu huyu akiamini habari za Yesu huyu Yesu anampatiza katika Kristo umepata 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 kuna watu wawili hapo sio umeenda hapo umepata bwana Yesu asifiwe <laughs> haleluya huyu ni habari za Yesu tunahubiri ni nani anayebatiza mto hapa ni nani mto ni nani kiukae kama mto bwana Yesu asifiwe si una kwani umeinama kabisa hatukuoni haleluya ndio inama vizuri eh hivyo haleluya sasa huyu Kristo huyu Kristo ndiye mto ni nani anabatiza yesu wacha nikuonyeshe vile anabatiza yesu alikukufia dhambi zako inama tu hivyo haleluya sasa huyu ni mhubiri 
Yesu alikuja akakufa akafa kwa akazikwa kwa ajili ya dhambi zako nasema John nyota mna meona mizigo mizito nami nitawapumzisha ni nani anahubiriwa ni Yesu sawa leo nasema wale wote ambao wangependa kumpokea Yesu kwa maisha yao nyosha mikono yako nyosha Bwana Yesu asifiwe haya wale ambao mmeinua mikono njooni sasa pokea Yesu kwa maisha yenu. Jooni hapa unaamka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nao jo. Wamekuja. Sawa, hapa sasa ni mhubiri anahubiri, anahubiri Yesu na yako hapa. Sawa. So, unasema umeokoka. Sio usiogope, kanyaga hapo. Haleluya. Inua mikono yako juu. Sema asante Yesu kwa kuniokoa. Kunibariki. Kuanzia leo nimeamini ya kuwa wewe ni Bwana. Ya kuwa wewe ni Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Wakati ambapo unapomhubiri Yesu, huyo Yesu ili akufanye kiumbe kipya, huyo ameamini hata imekuwa mtu huyo aliyekuja kwa Yesu ame, ame kama mtu. Hata imekuwa mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo. Yesu sasa habari yake ndio inakubatiza ndani ya nani? Sawa sawa ndio kupatiza ndani ya nani ndani ya Kristo akiingia ndani ya Kristo hapa ingilia hapa katikati wewe nyosha mikono vizuri ingilia hapa katikati akiingilia hapa nani katikati ya Yesu uingie utokeleze pande hii akiingia pande ya Kristo nani amembatiza habari za Yesu sawa akitokelezea habari wewe pande huu ni kiumbe kipya umepata umepata so who is the baptizer Who is the messenger? Who is the messenger? You, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, that's why the Bible says and he was with them because when I'm preaching about Jesus, I have become Jesus, so I'm helping him because he is he is unseen. Anachukua mwili ambao sio wa kuonekana, so wako ndani yangu. So wakati ninapomhubiri Yesu, ninabatiza watu kwa habari zake that's why i am only a messenger i am not the message hey, I, am, i am the messenger i am not the message umeelewa so unambatiza so ukimbatiza hapa anakuwa kiumbe kipya tuwapigie makofi mazuri haleluya so jesus is the, is the message christ is the liver haleluya Christ is the liver. So when you baptize that's why you need to know Jesus as Christ. Ndio manake lazima umjue Yesu kama nani? Kama Kristo. Ndio ingia ndani ya mtu. Hata imekuwa mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo amekuwa kiumbe kipya. Yesu Paulo akauliza, "Hao wamjue ya kuwa sisi zote tuliobatizwa katika Kristo Yesu. Tulibatizwa katika mauti yake. Umeona Kristo Yesu because Jesus is the, is the baptizer who is baptizing in Christ. Hallelujah. Tulibatizwa katika mauti yake. Kwa hiyo tulizikwa pamoja naye kwa njia ya ubatizo katika mauti. Tulibatizwa katika nini? Mauti. Tulibatizwa katika nini? Mauti yake. Yesu sawa. So now there Jesus is in the embodiment of Christ in him. Okay? So alifufuliwa kutoka kwa wafu kwa utukufu wa baba. Vivyo hivyo sisi nasi pia tupate kuenenda katika upya wa uzima. Alifufuliwa na baba ili sisi, si ili yeye. Are you getting me? Siri 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 yeye. Turudi hapo uone. Kwa hiyo tulizikwa pamoja naye kwa njia ya ubatizo katika mauti ili kama vile Kristo alivyofufuliwa kutoka kwa wafu kwa utukufu na wa baba vivyo hivyo sisi pia tupate kuenenda katika upya wa uzima Jesus resurrection is the beginning of the new creation Hallelujah Kuhubiri habari za Yesu ndio mwanzo wa kufanyika viumbe vipya Hallelujah Then there is what we we, we say uh, 
Number six, the resurrection of Christ is the cornerstone. The resurrection of Christ is the cornerstone of our justification. Without the Christ Jesus, we could not, could not be justified. Kama Yesu wake fufuka hatuke fanyika wenye haki. Kira kinafanya tufanyika wenye haki ni kwa sababu Yesu alifufuka. Kwa sababu Yesu alipipia garama. Alipo fufuka akiwa Yesu mpia sasa sio yule wakulipa garama. Sasa hapo ndio tunahesabiwa haki. Hallelujah. We are justified by his resurrection. Sisi tunahesabiwa tunahesabiwa haki kwa juu ya kwa juu ya ufufuo wake. Si juu ya matendo yako, sio juu ya kuomba kwako, sio juu ya kutoa kwako, ni juu ya kufufuka kwake. You need to partake this with faith. Hallelujah. You need to partake this with faith. Lazima upokee hii kwa imani. Hallelujah. You, you receive it through faith. Romans 4 verse 24. Warumi 4 29. Romans 4 24. Nimekimbia sana kwa sababu ya muda. Kwa sababu leo nilikuwa nataka nimalize kuhusu hii ndio niingie katika a session. Hallelujah. 4:24 The Bible says uh, Bali kwa ajili yetu sisi pia ambao Mungu anatupa haki sisi tunaomwamini yeye aliyemfufua Yesu anatupa haki sisi tunaoamini aliyemfufua Yesu anatupa haki kwa kuamini ufufuo haleluya we are justified by believing upon of his resurrection. So unapo amini ufufuwa wa Yesu unapewa nini? Haki. Hallelujah. Bani kwa ajili yetu sisi pia ambao mungu anatupa haki sisi. Tuna omuamini yeye alifufuwa Yesu kwa na wetu kutoka kwa wafu. Alitolewa afe kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu. Nae alifufuliwa kutoka mauti ili tuhesabiwe haki. Hallelujah. He was raised from the dead so that we can be counted righteous. So that we can be justified. You are called justified. Unaitwa mwenye haki. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu miamini ufufuo wa Yesu. Bila kuamini ufufuo wa Yesu wewe hauna haki yako. Hauna haki ya yake yake una haki yako. Hauna haki yake una haki yako. Unanipata? Unanipata? So unapoenda nje pale umuhimu wa kuhubiri kuhusu habari ya kufa kuzikwa na kufa na kufa kwa Yesu ni, ni kuleta wenye haki wengi katika ufalme. Umeelewa? We are bringing so many uh, righteous people or justified people uh, into the kingdom. And I said here when I was teaching you about righteousness that we are not justified because we don't have sin. Hatufanyiki wenye haki kwa sababu hatuna dhambi. Bali ni kwa kupenda kwake ametufanya wenye haki kwa kupenda kwake. Sawa? So hatuwezi kujitai ya kwamba hatuna dhambi bali tunakubaliana na vile anavyosema ikiwa hata kama sisi ni wenye dhambi tunakubaliana na vile anavyosema kwamba sisi ni wenye haki na tunafanyika haki chanzo kabisa tunahubiria wenye dhambi ili tuambie kwamba wamehesabiwa haki kwa imani ili watoke katika consciousness na mila ya kujiona wenye dhambi ndio wahamisho waingizo katika katika uanga ya kuona wao ni wenye haki they are justified how are, you, how are they being justified the bible says now we are justified by faith we have peace with god we have peace with god romans 5 verses number 1 the bible says now because we are justified by faith we have peace with god yo i am going to happen as a 
Nabi because we are justified by faith, we have peace with God. May the justified go and win so. If you know that you are justified, come on a joy and when you are basi no no kakavi ukavuwe nafsi. Usipa usipa no kakavuwe nafsi. Unafanya kazi ya mungu is yende be. Hallelujah. Tunaondoka tukio na zamire ya kwamba sisi tumefanyika wenye haki kwa imani. Usitoe jina kwa imani hapo. Ukiondoa jina kwa imani hapo, uweke kwa matendo. Hapo nipo watu wanafanya dhani. Wanafanya makosa. E, wanatoa kwa imani, wanaweka tunafanyika wenye haki kwa kutenda. Hapana, ni kwa jia gani? Kwa imani. Hiyo jina kwa imani hapo ina muhimu wake mkubwa sana. The Bible says Romans 5 verses 1 Therefore, being justified by faith. How are you being justified? By faith upon his resurrection. Hallelujah. Kwa imani juu ya kufufuka kwake. By faith we have peace with God. Shout we have. Sema we have. Sema ni na. Sema ni na. Amani. Kwa mungu. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Sema I have peace with God. When you come into this reality, how many mungu kama me kuchukia? Mungu wa kuchukii, mungu wa nakupenda, now you have peace with him. Even in your prayer, how many kama mungu wa najio na kama me chukiwa? You know you have peace with the God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by faith. Hallelujah. By faith. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Ninaona watu wanaotoka hapa wakiwa wanajua kwa mungu watawatumia. Kwa imani ya takutumia. Zaidi ya utaifu wanko, mungu wanaenda kukutumia. Kuenda kufikia wengine. Kapika, jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Mimi mungu wezi kunitumia. Usiaze kuongea kama Musa. Hello. Usiaze kuongea kama Musa. Mimi ulimia kuni hile muzito. Usiaze kutoa sababu. Mimi hapo unaniambia niende pasta nilipitanga na msichana hapo na sitaki ya nione. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ba mimi pasta huyo mtu nilimwimbia pesa yake unajificha unasikia kunaenda hiyo 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 side door to door. Hey hapana hiyo side sitaenda. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu unajua kuna ka kitu ulifanya na hapo. Hello. Am I speaking to someone? Hallelujah. You have peace with God. You have peace with God. If God has peace with you, go in peace. Meet them with peace. Hallelujah. Hata kama ulikula mdeni yake ujalipa, go and tell him, I am not here as me, I am here as Christ. I am coming with the name of Christ to preach the gospel. Yes. Hata kama nili nilikuja hapa nikakudanganya na nikapita na wewe nimekuletea Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati huo nilikuwa sijui nikipita na wewe. Eh lakini sasa nimejua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yeah. Yeah. You are not going as you. So if you see your faults, una wewe ukiona matendo yako ukienda kuhubiri au utahubiri. Eh, au kuhubiri. Utakuwa unajihubiri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maturity it is to raise the bar from your from your from your consciousness to the consciousness of God. Amen. Uko mavu ni kuondoa hisia zako na unaoenda katika hisia za Mungu. Hallelujah. Hata kama hiyo jia ulienda na hukulipa deni mpaka leo kwa duka. Tunapitia hapo na wewe. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ulikula unga ya mtu na ukakaa miaka mwaka huu ni mwaka wa pili hutaki kupitia hiyo jia. Hiyo jia hutaki kabisa kupitia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kesho tunapitia hapa tunaenda kwa yule mama na pa pasta kesho sitapatikana kwa sababu si kwa sababu ya kitu kingine kuna kandeni hajalipa na hapo haleluya wana yesu wa sifiwe wacha kuangalia wewe angalia mwenye injili enda kwa huya ulikuna dani yake mambia nimerudi nimerudi 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sio yule aliyekula deni. This is the newness. This is the newness of life in the name of Jesus. Eh, hey, atakusikiza. Hauendi kama wewe, ukienda kama wewe hata kusikiza. Ukienda kama yeye atakusikiza. Mwambie samahani kidogo. Samahani sana. Nimekuja. Haleluya. Nimefanya nini? That's why he says you walk in the newness of life. You walk there is a, there is a part of walking. Mimi siku ile nilijua injili hata nikiwa na deni yake yako siwezi kujificha. Kweli? Siwezi. Najua hii mambo ya kula deni za watu alafu unajificha, unajiwekea rawama na mizigo. Afadhali awe anakuona hapo hata kama uko na deni yake. Haleluya. Unamwambia tafadhali tunaendelea Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Safari bado ikali. Lakini haujifichi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Safari umeanza kubadilisha route. Kuisha wewe. Lakini kama bado anakuona accountability. Samahani tu tunamuona Bwana. Tuendelee kuombeana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Nasema na huyu kijana kweli ni pesa ya Yohana. Lakini unajua ukiondoka kwa sura yake, huyu jamaa ana pesa amekataa kunilipa. So unaona hata amebadilisha njia. When you are going there, go as the minister of the gospel. Ndio hiyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wengine wamebeba labda ulikuwa umedate msichana mkakosana na hutaki tupitie hiyo route. Nasikia kidoda bado iko ndani. Haleluya. Sitaki nionane na huyo msichana kabisa na anakaa ile plot na tunaenda hapo. Halo. Haleluya. Anakaa kwa ile plot na vile alikula fea yangu na akanidanganya nikapata na mwanamume mwingine bado uchungu uko ndani na unafubiri injili na Mungu akusaidie Mungu na aponya hiyo kidoda katika jina la Yesu ili tunapoingia ndani ya dotu do hautaenda kama yule aliyekuwa na kidoda unaenda aliye na kidoda cha Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe You are walking in the newness of life. If your consciousness kama dhamira yako haitapata hii hiyo dhamira ya Yesu utakuwa unajihukumu siku zote. Na hutaweza kuhubiria mtu. Yes, we are given the spirit of sons. Hallelujah. We are sons. Eh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Yeah. So because now therefore we are justified by faith we have peace we we there is a possession of having peace and there is a possession of becoming peace Hallelujah Kuna 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 kupata ile amani na kuna kufanyika ile amani Wakati ambapo Mungu ana deal na wewe maisha unapookoka anakupatia amani anakuambukiza amani lakini wakati unapoanza kuwa muhuduma unakuwa ile amani umeelewa kile nimesema when you begin accepting Christ in as your savior he justify you then he gives you your peace his peace but when you become a minister now a witness now you don't have peace you are that peace hallelujah So when you are bishering mirango it is the peace of god yakuja i come by the name of christ jesus kong 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 it is the peace of god is here haleluya amani ya bwana imeingia mahali hapo amani ya bwana iko hapa sasa ndio maana ke paulo akawa anawaambia na neema ya bwana wetu yesu kristo naye amani yake eh iwe pamoja nanyi umeelewa may the peace of god be with you because when you have him you have his peace when you are you become the container of god you become the container of peace hallelujah so why are we just why are we having peace why do we become peace because we know we are justified hallelujah 
we are justified. By whom also you have access of faith. Now faith that gives you peace, it is also, we are also being given access into this grace. Where we stand, where we rejoice. Kira mtu simama rejoice. Hallelujah. Do you know what is the meaning of rejoicing? Yeah? says in Colossians 2 verses 15 wakati yesu walipo maliza kupigilisha sheria, thambi madhabahu zote za wangano lakale kila kitu alishangilia msahabana ah, hallelujah do you know what is the P what is, let me give you this name what is the meaning of rejoicing listen eh? rejoice the word rejoice is from the Greek word kauchomai, which means to have joy, to have glory, and to have laughter. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, it, the, this word means joy, to have joy, to have to rejoice, is to have joy, to have glory. And also in the same akwamba, nikukibia Learning twice and jumping. So when Jesus was on the cross, Alikibia, na akakibia, na akakaruka, akashangiria msalabai. Hey, wana Yesu wa zibiwe? Amen. Hebu simama, hallelujah. Wana Yesu wa zibiwe? Si usimame kwa migu yako. Nataka tushangiria msalabai. Wana Yesu wa zibiwe? If you know that Jesus died for you, and you are here, celebrate Jesus. This one you don't fake it. You are it. He always we is a in wherever you are. Ukiona na mtu ambaye akona hii laughter of the Holy Spirit. Unajua kuna laughter of the Holy Spirit. Kai kama roho wa Mungu ucheka and you can afford to celebrate na wewe hujapigiliwa na bado hujafika hapo kwa kuselebrate there is a lamb about Yesu alikuwa na hakushuka msalabani physically akakimbia in the spirit alishangilia bwana Yesu asifiwe amen bwana Yesu asifiwe amen hakushangilia kwa sababu ameshinda ndio yeye apate ushindi alishangilia msalabani kwa sababu ameturegeshea ushindi umeelewa Yesu hakuhitaji ushindi sisi ndio tulihitaji ushindi are you getting me yes so upon now the resurrection the resurrection was celebration of heaven hallelujah katika ufufuo hapo ndipo pingu ilishangilia amefufuka amefufuka hayuko tena kaburini amefufuka amefufuka pingu ilishangilia hallelujah na haikushangilia tu kwa sababu amefufuka wale watu wengi walifufuka pamoja naye umeelewa yani amefufuka lakini hajafufuka peke yake 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Haikufuka peke yake. Jeshi likafufuka, bingu ikafurahi. Ah! Wamefufuka wengi. That's why Jesus became the first born from the dead. Haleluya. Oh, yes. Yesu akafanyika wa kwanza, mzaliwa wa kwanza kutoka kwa wale ambao wanafufuka. Haleluya. Oh, yes. Jesus became the first born. Now you you are a prototype of him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Celebrate Jesus as you mean it. Shangilia wokovu wao. Shangilia wokovu wao. Najua kama ni gari ungeambiwa fungua iko hapa. Shangilia kama ni gari unapewa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Shangilia kama gari ndio umeambiwa ndio hii shika 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 fungoni yako. Sasa hii ni zaidi ni uzima. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You can have your seat. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Tell your brother rejoice in him. Rejoice in him. Who is my resurrection? Hallelujah. Another point there I want to drive in because of time is that Jesus Jesus ah uh, We have said he he was crucified then he was justified then through justification of Christ katika kufanyika wenye haki ndani ya Kristo we are declared not guilty upon the resurrection of Christ we are declared tunatangazwa ya kwamba hatuna hatia baba tunatangazwa hawa hawana hatia atakama wanayo atakama wanayo wana wanaikuwa wana declared hawana nini hawana hatia you are you are declared not guilty with respect of the sin because of the perfect work of Christ in his crucifixion and resurrection hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. now there is three things that are very important you have to like upon the resurrection we have access with god katika ufufuo wa yesu sasa hapa atuambiangi mungu tumana mungu tumana usitu mungu kuja usitumane umeona hapa atuambi mungu tumana usikuja mwenyewe usitumane shall we see what we say yeah jo usitumane Now the Bible says we have access. So we have what? We have what? Now hapa ndipo watu wengi kwa sababu kusa kuelewa unakuta watu wanafikiria watu wachungaji ndio wanawapatia access ya Mungu. No no no. No 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 no. Every believer now have access with God. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Believers have three things that you don't have to forget. Number one, we have peace with God. Everywhere you enter, know you have peace with God. Number two, you have to know you have access with God. Everywhere you enter, you know God is there with you. You have access because of the power of resurrection. Number three, we have standing with God. We are standing with God. Wherever we enter, we are standing with him. In him. Hallelujah. And number four, number four, believers have joy of the glory of God. They have joy. Joy, joy, joy. Joy si jina la msichana. Joy ni asili ya uungu. Hallelujah. So unapoita msichana joy ina maana unamuita asili ya kiungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. <coughs> Hallelujah. We have three four things very important number one, we have access with god we have peace with god we have light standing with god then we have glory and joy of god and remember we said number one that we are declared no guilt we are licensed we are justified we are justified So we are declared not Greek. So five things. Not what what was was what you have to to master. Master those. Even if Satan atakuja nyuma yako akwambie wewe 
wewe unaenda road do na unajua hapo unapitia ulini namwambia i have peace with god haleluya lastly for the resurrection the resurrection of christ is the cause of our hope is the cause of our hope we don't have hope in other things we don't have hope in our cars our houses our marriages our money but we have hope in god first peter 1:3 first peter 1:3 When I'm saying last year I'm not meaning ya kwamba if topic ya resurrection nimemaliza yote au come season 2 when we are we, wakati kwa tunajipanga kwenda door to door tena then I will start from there hallelujah eh yeah. ukiangalia sana sana nikifundisha kuhusu death bari ya resurrection kwa tu kwa karibu kutoka nje kwa door to door bana Yesu asifiwe ukisikia tu nimeanza kufundisha kuhusu jinsi ya kutoka nje na kuhubiri wewe jua tuna kuandaa kwa ajili ya kazi ya kwenda nje hallelujah First Peter 1 verses 3 First Peter 1 verses 3 
Tumaini na nyayo uzima kupitia kwa kufufuka kwa Yesu Kristo kutoka kwa wafu. Hallelujah. Kutoka kwa nini? You have hope of God in his resurrection. Tuna mtu amefika wakati wa kujinyonga ni kwa sababu alikuwa na hope of men. Akafikiria Bonfas akinikopesha 200. Unajua kwanza kuna vijana wako na tabia mbaya wanafanya budget ya harusi na mifuko ya watu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Naongea hapa na vijana kama Pazaka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unakaa chini, unasema ah vile pasta anatuaga sana kwa ajili ya huduma hawezi kosa 10,000. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huyo tumwandike 10, andika 10 pale. Vile Baba Francis anakaanga hawezi kosa 2,000. Bonfas vile pikipiki yake kila siku inakunywa mafuta. Hawezi kosa tano. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Nikiangalia Baba Brian vile ana nywele yake ni ya high style, ni ya high quality. Na ile viatu yake ya mukanye hiyo iwezi kosa kuwa ni 1500. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huyu 10 hawezi kosa 10. Unachanga una kanisa unachanga pesa kupanga harusi nasema hawa nitawaita kwa kamati Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hawa nitawaita kwa nini kwa kamati Alafu siku ya harusi mtaletewa zawadi mingi bahasha kwanza wataleta Halo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Wewe unafanya budget ya harusi na mifuko ya watu Kama hauna pesa ya harusi usifanye harusi. Wacha na nani? Wacha Kweli, nakwambia ukweli. Kama hauna pesa ya harusi na bibi harusi na bwana harusi yuko, wachana na harusi. Eh, si bwana harusi yuko? Na na bwana na na bibi harusi si wako? Wachaneni na harusi basi. Kama baba na baba, kama <laughs> kama kama eh, bwana harusi na bibi harusi yuko. Kateni harusi, mbaki na bwana na bibi. Wachaneni na harusi. Bwana hizo zipi? Na mkuja kwa mchungaji mkiwa bwana na bibi wanaotaka ukaa pamoja, muombewe mwende nyumbani wachaneni na harusi. Halo Hakuna mchango tulichangia Mungu akatununua kama bibi harusi. Hakuna kitu anatuitisha kutunua kama bibi harusi. Yeye amechanga kila kitu. Akakuja akatoa uhai wake, akafa msalabani, akazikwa peke yake, akafufuka peke yake, ametupatia kama zawadi. Wewe unataka tukuchangia harusi unamkope nani wewe? Kama nani? Bwana harusi. Bwana harusi gani?
sababu karamu ni yake. Yesu akamwambia mtu mmoja ameandaa karamu. Akaandaa karamu akawaambia aka nendeni muite watu. Aka, kaita watu. Wakuje wale. Wakuje kwa pati. Wameangusha wame ng'ombe, wameangusha ndini. Mmoja akasema bwana mimi naenda harusi ni siji kule. <laughs> mwingine akajipatia shughuli, mwingine shughuli. Wale aliyofikiria amealika watu wa maana hawakuja. Akakuja wakarudi tena kwa, kwa kamati. Kamati kaitwa haraka. Sasa hawaji hao. Fanyeni hivi. Endeni uko nje. Kiwete, kipofu, gasi yote utakaoona huko, leteni kwa harusi. And you wonder wakaenda wakaita watu watu wakaja watu wakaja wamekuja kupewa zawadi ya kula haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe wamekuja kupewa zawadi ya kula mlo ambao hawakuchangia kazi yao ni mdomo haleluya lakini cha kushangaza bwana harusi akasema kabla hawaje kula wacha nipitie huko katikati akapita na alisema kila mtu waje akaona mtu aliingia bila mavazi. Kwa sababu wewe uliingiaje hapa? Takuja kuwafundisha hiyo. Na yeye alisema kila mtu aletwe. Akawa anazunguka kazi hata mjama mmoja hana mavazi ya ya harusi. Kamuliza, "Na wewe? Uliingia hapa? Hapa uliingiaje? Huyo jamaa mavazi ni matendo yake. Alikuwa anatamani kufanya kitu kwa hiyo mchango ya harusi." Mbona huyu jamaa amenalisha watu namna hii? Hii pesa ametupa. Haleluya. Ndio. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii pesa si hata angepea masisi yake ametupea tu ama angelinunulia nyumba bwana. So ile mavazi ni kutaka kuchukua kitu kwa mkono aliyeitana. Ndio. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mavazi kwa Biblia ni haki. Ina maana kwamba anataka haki yake mwenyewe. Mimi sitaki hii chakula bila kukifanyia kazi. Haujalipana nasemaje? Mimi sitaki hii chakula bila kukifanyia nini? Kazi. Si huyu bosi akisema nifanye kazi ndio nile. Kumwambia wewe hauna nguo ya harusi wewe. Kwa sababu kwa wenye wanakuja kwa hii harusi hawapaswi kufanya chochote. Kazi yao ni kupokea na kukula. Hivyo ndivyo Yesu ametushirikisha katika harusi ya ufufuo. Hatuchangii chochote katika ufufuo. Hatuchangii chochote katika kufuka kwake sio sisi tulimuua sio sisi tulifanya chochote sisi tunashiriki tu kukula au simba wa milele Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Kitu wewe unataka tukuchangia harusi samahani sisi tunafuata kana Yesu bwana wetu alitufunjisha jinsi ya kufanya harusi Ndio alijipanga Alijipanga Kama kijana yuko karibu na wewe mwambie jipange bwana Amen Haleluya jipange Haleluya. Na, na hati ya kwamba hatukupendi. Tuko na option. Lakini kama unasema lazima uone lejiroba hapa. Ubebwe na vie kubwa. Baba, kwa na hela. Halo? Siku ile nitakuwa ninafanya, siku ile nitakuwa ninafanya anniversary yangu ya 20 years kwa sababu inagalibia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Anniversary yangu. Siku ile nitakuwa ninafanya anniversary sitawaitisha kitu chochote. Nitafanya mwenyewe. Eh, hey, na gari mke wangu atabebwa na gari nzuri niletoe mpaka hapa. Anniversary ni kama doa. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe ni kama harusi na niwalishe nyote. Haleluya. Siku hiyo akuje Haleluya. Akuje ameshikiliwa neti namna hii. Akikanyanga namna hii. Na mimi niko hapa mbele nikimngojea kama bwana harusi. Na jinyi nyote mliokuja mule mnywe na mbwa za msase. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wale wa kule na msase na macheke. Eh, kusaza ndio hiyo kubaba, kubeba ama waweke. Hello. Now that we are born again, why? Why are we having the hope of God? Because the hope of God is in his selection. Matumaini. Sasa ile kitu kimenifanya nileta hiyo story ni kwamba sasa umekuja kanisa limekosa kukuchangia kama vile ulivyofikiria. Mama Brian ulifikiria atakuletea 10000 na ako kwa kamati 
Unasema mimi niko na 200. Yule kodi ulisema ako na 5000. Mimi naweza tu kutoa 100. Bwana Yesu asifi. Aisa kuliona ako na dukuduku hapa nje. Akwambia hamsini iko hapa. Tumaini yako inafanya nini? Aisa. Watu wa kanisa hawanipendi. Sio ndio kanisa tena. Hawezi hata. Yaani mama Brian ni mtu wa kutoa 500.
baada ya hapo umeelewana msichana na kijana na mama wazazi wote andikeni barua sawa sawa andikeni barua hii ni kwa mchungaji ya kwamba tumekubaliana hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi mama asain mwenye kuolewa asain mama asain na baba na mwenye kuoana asain jioni na hiyo barua bwana yesu asifiwe na wapa na wapa siri hapa bwana yesu asifiwe vijana mko tayari hapa haleluya ukikuja ukiniambia eh, mimi na mke wangu kuja hapa pasta tumekuja tumefika hapa barua ya wazazi ndio hii na umemaliza kila kitu na barua imesema imekubali nakwambia sasa fanya hivi option mbili kwa sababu ya serikali hii barua toa kope kwenda kwa e-citizen jaza mnataka kujikuoana baada ya siku 21 vietu vyenu vinatoka katika hizi siku 21 vietu vikitoka ni 1500 peke yake wewe unatafuta shilingi 80200 ya harusi na ni shilingi 3000 na 200 peke yake ujikiena ikitoka unaniita mimi mzee wa kanisa na wazazi tunaenda huko kwa registrar registrar anawapatia ana kiapo ukitoka hapo uko huru kwenda nyumbani na mtu yako bwana yesu asifiwe lakini kwa sababu ya heshima ya kanisa tunakwambia jumapili unakuja kanisani tukuombe na tukuachilie kama baba mume na mke bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya tunakuachilia kama mume na mke washiriki na hiyo siku unatangazia wazazi wenu wazazi familia zote nasema tuko na ibada yote watajilipia wa, fair hautawalipia umeelewa e, e, kila kitu itakuwa ni fili kama ni ibada ya kawaida walikuja hapa tuna declare itakuwa kwa baada ya service kama hivi hakuna gharama umeingia wamejileta wenyewe na ile ulikuwa unatafuta tumefanya hapa jumapili baada ya ibada kama vile tukiifanya jumamosi unanielewa washirika wako wale wenye ni wapi nyumbani wamekuja na nimewafanyisha harusi haya e, sema sema nyuma yangu e, sijui nitakupenda ukiwa na baisikeli ukiwa hauna ukiwa na, na tuktuk pia ikipotea nitakuoa hivyo hivyo hiyo vyote utasema wapi ukisema hiyo tukimaliza naambia sasa ninawatangaza kwa hii kanisa tunawarecognize kama mume na mke au utaenda watu wakisema huko ulioa barabarani Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe hakuna mtu ataenda akisema ya kwamba mlioana wapi Sio ni sawa na harusi itakuwa imekosa pesa ngapi 3000 na 200 hata kama wewe ni kijana utawezaje kosa shilingi 3000 na 200 Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Chakula kila mtu baada ya ibada ataenda kukula vile anakutaka kwao nyumbani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sababu itakuwa ibada ya Jumapili. Ile ibada ya Jumapili haipikwi. Hata saa hizi mkitoka sisi kila mtu anataka kula nyumbani. Bas. Kama unataka tukula hakikisha basi umetupikia sio sisi tukupikie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lastly, now because we have received the hope of God, hautakujika moyo kwa sababu watu hawakutoa, hawakufanya hii. Hiyo kanisa si yeti tena haikunifanyia harusi, haikukuja mazishi ya mamangu sijui nini. Unajua kile kitu kinafanya ushiriki kaukujike ni kwa sababu ya vitu tulizozileta ambazo si kawaida, si ma, si lengo la kanisa. Umeelewa? Si lengo la kanisa. Lengo la kanisa ni kuhubiri injili na kuzaa wana wakahubiri injili. Hiyo ndio lengo la kanisa. Hii mambo ya kuoana na mambo ya kuzikana ni vitu tu zinaingilia kanisa. Na unapata mtu anaacha mafundisho kwa sababu ya akus, atukuja kuzika, sijui atukuja kufanya nini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naambia mapema hatuna shida na kukuja kuzika lakini sisi ni wana wa uzima wa milele hatufi hatuna program ya kuzikana bwana yesu asifiwe hatuna program ya kufanya nini ya kuzikana tunakuja kuhubiri injili 
Hallelujah. Last three, the book of First Peter one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, three. Zama imidiwe mungu eh? Sio haribika. Hii tuta visit on on Sunday verses three hapo hapo. Imidiwe mungu baba mwana iyo tukuja ku Kristo tukuja ku Elezea juu mapili ya. Ili tupate ulivi. Kwa nini tunafufuliwa pamoja na Yesu tukona na ufu, na tukona na hiyo tunayoita uh, hope tukona uh, na matumaini sio haribika ni kwa sababu ili tupate ulivi usio haribika usio na uchafu ule usio nyauka haleluya ulio tunzwa binguni kwa ajili yenu upon the resurrection of Christ it is where you inherit God you inherit the fullness of God in heaven Hallelujah. Hawezi kusema kwamba umefufuka pamoja na Yesu na hauna Mungu ndani yako. Ninyi ambao mnaandaliwa na nguvu za Mungu kwa njia ya imani hadi uje ule ukovu ulio tayari kuvunuliwa nyakati za mwisho. Anamalizia anasema katika hili mfurahi. Simama kwa miguu yako. Sema na furahi. Katika hili mfurahi. Sana ingawa sasa kwa si kitabu kidogo umehuzunishwa kwa maana kwa majaribu ya namna nyingi. Haya yamewajia ili kwamba imani yenu iliyo na dhamani kuliko dhahabu ipoteayo ingawa haujaribiwa kwa moto ionekane kuwa halisi na imalizie katika sifa unaona katika mvua wa Yesu unakuwa na tumaini huku hivi kwamba hata mambo magumu unayopitia katika maisha unapoyapitia sifa inapatikana hata kama umekuwa una unga nyumbani unapopitia magumu yale sifa inapatikana hata kama watoto wamefukuzwa sifa inapatikana kwa sababu unapitia unajua sifa iko haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe na Mungu akawasaidie mnapoenda door to door. Ninawatangazia kwamba Mungu na akawasaidie. Unapoondoka ukienda door to door, ninakutangazia kwamba Mungu akakusaidia. Joni hapa, Joni hapa. Kila mtu jua usimame hapa mbele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kila mtu jua usimame hapa mbele. Nataka tuombe kwa ajili ya door to door. Haleluya. Simama tu hapo. 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 Kama mwana aliye ndani ya nyumba ambaye amekubali ya kwamba I want to be part of door to door. I want to be part of ministry ministration of the Holy Spirit. Ninao mkono wako chukua. Hata mimi wangu kwa juu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Baba ninakushukuru kwa sababu ya kutupatia nafasi nyingine tukakuhudumia. Hapa na pale tunalegea lakini roho wako anazidi kutukumbusha ya kwamba tukaende door to door tukaandae mikutano ya kuwaleta wengi katika ufahamu wako. Asante Bwana kwa sababu ya kwamba umetuchagua kundi dogo ambalo utafanya makubwa katika mji wa Kilifi. Asante Bwana kwa kutupatia ufahamu. Ninatangaza kwamba roho wako akatuongoze. Wakaweza kutuongoza. Tunapoingia miji na miji kama vile Apostle Paul aliomba na Barnabas wakaingia katika miji. Nasi tunaomba kwa saa haya tunapoingia miji na vijiji ukatuongoze. Ishara na miujiza ikutufuate. Uponyaji ukapatikane. Chochote tunaweza kupatana nacho ukatusaidie. Katika shina la Yesu. Asante Bwana kwa sababu umetuchagua. Tukaweze kuwa ambassadors wa injili yako katika maeneo haya. Na sisi tumeamua kuwa wa kuwa faithful. Tumeamua kwamba tukaweze kuwa waminifu kwa ajili ya kazi uliyotupa and we renew in the name of Jesus. Ili tunapoingia nyumba kwa nyumba kesho, tunapoingia nyumba kwa nyumba siku hizi sitini, we dedicate this 60 days so that when we go to to talk, I pray my father my lord ya kwamba utatutaona majali tutaona maajabu tunaona wana wakija kwako wewe utatupatia hekima ya kujibu maswali utapatia sisi hekima ya kuwaleta wengi katika ufahamu katika jina la Yesu sema asante Mungu kwa kunisaidia kufika siku ya leo sasa napoingia ndo tundo naomba unisaidie help me my lord help me my father to do your will give me strength give me wisdom give me understanding of your scriptures so that i can bring remain to your righteousness thank you father